Okay, let's work out this exponential sequence. 17.4 This question says Work out the n term of the sequence and the a gives us this b is this and c is this so if you are asked to work out the n term let's take it one after the other the first one a we have 6 18 54 162 and so on now if you want to find the n term of this exponential the first thing you have to do is first of all we divide this is the first term is t1 this t2 this t3 this t4 and so on so what i have to do is to divide this divide this by this i said i'll divide this by this divide this by this and this by this so first i'll say 18 divided by 6 so 18 divided by 6 is 3 i will equally say 54 divided by 18 54 divided by 18 is 3 and the same way 162 divided by 54 is 3 so since 3 is a common ratio since the common ratio there is 3 we have that the common ratio is 3 so since the common ratio is 3 the first part of this n term, the first part will now be 3 raised to the power n. That's the first part. Then multiply by what? Are we multiplying it? Now divide this by 3. I will say 6. 6, that is the first term. The first term, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the n term will now be 3 raised to the power. The n term will now be 3 raised to the power n times 2 so this will be the m10 of this sequence then the b part also we have 120 60 30 15 and so on then for you to find the n term of this sequence use this divide by this r uh, use this and this over this also so we divide 60 by 120 60 divided by 120 we have that to be 0 0.5 that is 1 over 2 1 over 2 then also 30 divided by 30 divided by 60 30 divided by 60 is also 0 0.5 that's 1 over 2 15 divided by 30 15 divided by 30 is still 0 0.5 you see it this divided by this this over this this over this that's how you continue so if we have a common ratio there then it is exponential so the common ratio we have there our common ratio is 0 0.5 so since the common ratio is 0 0.5 the first step you have is 0 0.5 raised to power n that's the first step you can see how i did this i said when you divide it you have three the first step is three raised to the power n then the next step is divide the first term by the common ratio so we do this one this divided by this this over this this over this and we find out that they are all 0 0.5 so the first step is to say 0 0.5 raised to the power n now we multiply it by now the first term first term is always the one that comes first the first term is 120 so i will say 120 divided by 0 0.5 and 120 divided by 0 0.5 will be 240 so now the n term will be 0 0.5 first point n times 240 so this is the n term that is how we are looking for we find it okay let's look at the c part now the C part also, the C part also is uh, five, uh, two, five, ten, seventeen, and twenty-six. That's the C part. We have that to be two, five, ten, seventeen, 
26 and so on okay now if we divide as we are we have uh, 5 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 huh? then 10 divided by 5 is 2 uh, 17 divided by 10 this will give you 1.7 to be 1.7 and uh, 26 divided by 17 and they give you so you see that this is not the same they are not the same so they do not have the same common ratio that means it is not exponential we cannot solve this using the this rule is not exponential now what i have to do now is to find the rule that can match this then i'll go for linear because we have linear we have linear we have uh quadratic and we have cubic before this exponential then go to linear say it three plus uh, two plus three is five we add two three here to give five that is five minus this is three now from here to here we add 5 to be 10 and we have 7 to be you see that this is automatically it is not linear so let's go to let's go to quadratic that is a square let's go to quadratic square this is the first 10 i will square one one squared is one this is the second term i will have two squared is four this is the third term we have three squared is nine this is the fourth this is the fourth the fourth and we have four squared is 16 and uh, this is the fifth one we have five squared is 25 now when you look at these two we look at these two find out the set that uh, this minus this is one two minus one is one five minus four is one ten minus nine is one seventeen minus sixteen is one twenty six minus twenty five is one they see that they have a common a common thing of what one so in this case it is a quadratic now since a quadratic i will have that to be n squared n squared is a quadratic n squared now the first term minus this two minus this is one so we have it to be plus one so that gives us n squared plus one and this is the n term of the sequence so this is how we look for the n term of an exponential and the, the one we have treated already